Thank you. So what do you think? Are you an Alphard or a Velfire type? Well, I'd like to give you five things that I think that the new edition uh, has that makes it so special. Number one, they now, both of them, both know who they are. The Alphard and Velfire have enjoyed an incredible rivalry over the years. But with the Alphard becoming increasingly confident, the difference between it and the Velfire has narrowed to such an extent that we did in fact consider discontinuing the Avelfire this time. But there was an outpouring of support for the car when this was discussed internally. People in the development team, the management, dealers, and even some VIP advisors expressed disbelief that this could even be considered. How could we throw away an icon? Now if both are bespoke cars, then the Alphard with its power and its confidence is without doubt the epitome of bespoke formal. But the Velfire has a dark, aggressive character that can only be described as bespoke dynamism. The two vehicles can now continue their rivalry, but be happy in the knowledge that each has a clear character and position. Number two, it's a one box, but it's certainly not a box. Finally, it has the muscles to match its mass. No more flat two-dimensional surfaces. Engineering breakthroughs have given the designers free reign to create surface volumes that enhance the stance or the dynamism and the emotion of the car. Number three, one touch changes the world. In our quest for the ultimate in hospitality, even the movement of the door has been choreographed to reduce stress as you enter another world, a world where you are at center stage, where the seat position, the lighting, climate control are all seamlessly coordinated together. With the touch of a single button, you can access preset environments to suit your mood. Number four, the ultimate cockpit. Now, as I said earlier, the driver is not forgotten. Both vehicles will be fitted with 14-inch displays, 12.3-inch meters, heads-up displays, but this technology embedded into the crafted soft interior makes it all the more impressive. And finally, number five, it's engineered for people and the Earth. The new Alphard is designed for the ultimate user experience. But it's not just about the surface attributes. Ride quality, noise and vibration are one third of the current vehicle, a figure that is comparable to a luxury sedan. And the new edition will also have a plug-in hybrid model playing a part in the road towards carbon neutrality. Now, I hope this gives you a feeling for the values that the Ardafard and Velfire are offering but also how they relate to the future. Because in many ways, these values represent the heart of everything that we are trying to achieve as a brand. The future customer will increasingly demand choices to match their lifestyle values. The integration of services and information into their mobility life, and then many other things. Essentially, 
We, as a company, are striving to create freedom in motion. The two cars today offer the freedom to choose your character, the freedom to use it in your own way, the freedom to escape to another world. And in the case of the chauffeur world, the freedom to do things differently on your own terms. The Alphard and Velfire are the next steps in this challenge, but it will certainly not finish with them. The recently announced Crown Sedan offers the freedom to choose a carbon neutral chauffeur car experience with the fuel cell version. The sleek, elegant strength of the vehicle contrasts and complements the power and space of the Alfa and Belfire, giving customers more freedom to choose the chauffeur experience that they value. And again, it will not finish here. The century is the ultimate chauffeur experience, but it too will have to evolve as we move toward the future. And later in the year, I hope to have a chance to share the outcome of that story with a new addition to Toyota's chauffeur series. It will certainly be an impressive step in our mission to change the future of cars. Everybody, arigatou gozaimashita.